here's what we know about Fox, and this is what matters. It's a revolving door for talent. Did, did she just say? It's a revolving door. Did she just say revolving door? Revolving door. <laughs> She did. She actually said revolving door. I can't believe they're actually using our term now. For decades now, people like me have been using the term revolving door to describe people in the media going to the Democrat Party and then going back out into the media again. It was always further proof that the media at large was in the tank for the Democrat Party. And for this reporter to sit there and act like this is something that's unique to Fox is just a straight up lie. Here's what we know about Fox, and this is what matters. It's a revolving door for talent from Fox coming into the Trump administration. We know that there's Heather Nauert. There are many Fox contributors who are now working within the Trump administration. This is something completely different, uh, and it's something that's dangerous, and I don't think it makes sense to in any way validate this as normal. What she doesn't tell you, and what nobody at CNN will tell you, is that Barack Obama had a whopping 30 journalists work at the White House, many of whom were connected to CNN. For example, we have Kate Albright Hanna. She was a CNN political producer. She was also the director of new media for the Obama presidential campaign from 2007 to 2008. And she was the content lead for the presidential transition team website. She was also a new media consultant for the White House uh, for health reform and the Department of Health and Human Services from 2008 to 2009. After that, she went on to be the senior producer for MSNBC's Last Call with Lawrence O'Donnell. And then and from 2011 to 2012, she went on to be the senior producer for MSNBC's Up With Chris Hayes. And in fact, before CNN, she worked as an intern for Bill Clinton. Besides Hannah, there was also Sasa Johnson. She was a senior political producer at CNN. She went on to be the press secretary for the Department of Transportation under Obama. And then there was Anish Rahman, who was a CNN Middle East correspondent. He worked in the Obama campaign and was a speechwriter. And then, of course, there's all these people. I think what we have here is CNN trying to take out a political and business rival. It's plainly obvious to anybody with any ounce of self-awareness that CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, NPR, and all these outlets are pushing a left-wing Democrat Party agenda. I think that's what's so infuriating about all of this is that we see right through the act, but they think they're pulling one over on us. I think what we know here and now about Fox News is that it is an outlet. It's basically completely aligned with the Trump administration. No, we don't know that. And in fact, the studies that I've seen have shown that Fox is the closest to being neutral than any of the other networks. And I'm not really here to defend Fox. I'm not a fan of Fox or any cable news, but what she's saying here just isn't true. As I showed you already, it's pretty normal for the left-wing media to work hand-in-hand -hand with the Democrat Party, and we already know that a vast majority of people in the media vote Democrat. As of 2013, only 7% of reporters identified themselves as Republican, and a 2016 CPI study of donations to campaigns showed that 97% of them went to Clinton. The Media Research Council also found that 94% of all donors affiliated with five of the news outlets contributed to Democrats between 2008 and 2016. Given these facts, it's hard not to get a little pissed off watching this liar justify silencing her political opposition. I think there should be solidarity in certain situations. Uh, if a Fox News reporter were blacklisted from the White House the way that Jim Acosta was, we should all stand up for that Fox News reporter. Uh, but in this case, I think this is a, this is a Democratic National Committee issue. Yes. Fox's fight is with the DNC, not with the media. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was interesting, Angelo, that so many DC reporters were coming out supporting Fox. You know, there was, there was a kind of, I don't know what that was about. Why am I not surprised that little Brian Stelter doesn't get why DC reporters would defend Fox News? Maybe because they still have some principles and they don't want to be seen lowering themselves to CNN's level. All I can say is that this latest move by CNN and the DNC to silence their political opposition will only end up solidifying people's resolve and their distrust of CNN and the media at large. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. YouTube apparently doesn't want you all seeing my new content. And if you're on Twitter, make sure to give me a follow. If you'd like to support me further, please check out my Patreon channel or just hit me on PayPal. You can find the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.